All right, today I'm gonna try something really crazy. I've got 11.1 .1 volts here, and I've got another one just like this. This was short, short circuited while uh, using the build. What happened was the end plate was manufactured with a flaw, so it touched the red, which is the positive, and uh, the negative side, which is the black, uh, together through the motor. And I didn't know this, plus the MOSFET I was using didn't guard the very low uh, amperage that this could use to short. So basically two of them shorted like, like that without even knowing. And then once I looked at the end plate, I realized, okay, that was really stupid of them that they designed it like that. Uh, so what I'm going to try to do today is pretty crazy. I'm going to try to revive this. And what I think is wrong is uh, I watched another video and it pretty much, pretty much made me uh, believe that what I'm going to do might work. Um, when this short circuited, I think what it did is removed some solder or something, some type of protection so that the uh, cells aren't connected anymore and won't explode basically or inflate to explode. So for a little bit of somewhat safety, I'm going to try a LiPo safe bag. And this is one of the few things I own matrix wise, <laughs> just in case anybody wants to make a comment about that. But um, I'm just going to go ahead and try to charge it, which I'm pretty sure is not going to work. Yeah, this is my charger. I actually love this charger. It's a Kong Power multi charger. It charges plenty of things. Anyways, I wasn't holding that hard enough. We're going to get an error. Oh my god start to charge. Let's see what the uh, it's not charging fully though. Okay that's that is really awkward. Today it registers after like months ahead. That is really awkward and it's almost fully charged. What is going on here? Let me make sure I didn't grab the wrong battery somehow. I don't know how the heck that could be possible. I think I grabbed the wrong battery. I had them both right here. This is the one. Yeah, I think this is the one. I've got another one upstairs that is... I have three of these, so... Um, no, actually, this has to be the one because this is under 12 volts. I know for a fact it hasn't been charged. Watch, I'm going to put this together, and that is really awkward. Check this battery for inflating or anything. I don't think it's going to. It's fully charged now. That is just really awkward that it just started working all of a sudden. It used to give low voltage, and now it's actually working. Probably, maybe the solder inside here is cracked or something, and now it's touching. So that's what my guess is. I don't know. I have to mess with it. Anyway, let me try to charge this see yep this does need to charge um, I'm gonna go get the other one it's really awkward that this started working all of a sudden but like I think I said uh, if it wasn't connected before it said low voltage um, somehow it got reconnected not sure how but I didn't have to do anything thankfully months later uh, in here probably so that's all good that kind of leaves it scary though because you know what if somehow that connected and I don't know I do not know um, anyways I'm gonna go ahead and for safety because I don't know what this battery could be doing at some point I'm gonna keep it in my micro safe bag and go grab my other one And see if we can get the third one to work. Now it'll be very interesting. Um, I can't leave this unattended, so I'm just gonna stop it and I'll be right back. Okay, so there's the two over there. I'm gonna have to mark from now on uh, which is which. So I'm not gonna know. Um, this has got to be the one. So that way I know the XT right here means it's newer. Started using those Deans instead of these, so it's older. 
All right. Got it in the LiPo safe bag. Let's go ahead and test it. See if we get something. Error. Yep. So, um, this is the one that will probably have to be opened. Air 2 means connection break. Okay. Oh, that's really strange because last time it used to give Air 3. All of them gave Air 3. Input voltage low. And now saying air two. Okay, so how we're gonna test this is I'm gonna unplug it real quick. All right, nothing's plugged in. Nothing's plugged in, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to turn it on. So it gives the same air. So somehow there is no connection here. So I might flop this open and see why not. So let's go ahead and do that, I guess. All right, so kind of taking apart the top. And what I see is it looks like the red wire is coming undone right here. It's very loose. You can see the other wires are still stable and in contact. The uh, black one, it's very well soldered um, to the cell. So what's definitely coming off is this red one right here. You can kind of see it coming off so I'm thinking about just soldering it back on and that should connect it again so I'm gonna go for it alright so I'm looking at this again and it looks like there is a crack right there see it right there it goes between the blue to the other side. See how it's broken like that? Um, I'm wondering if I should connect that. There's only one way to find out, really. <laughs> Here comes an explosion. <laughs> okay, after some carefully soldering outside, uh, the split part was supposed to be soldered together. Um, I carefully did it, and it's in the bag, and we're going to test it. And sure enough, we don't get an error. Now we're going to, very cautious, because I don't know what the heck is going to happen. Um, it is reading the cell voltage. Each and every cell is red. Uh, we're going to see if it inflates in a minute. See anything inflating? Just in case I'll douse this thing with water, but I really doubt anything is going to happen. We're almost at 12.3. 12, um, 12 yeah, we're almost completely charged up anyways. Um, let's go ahead and stop and check it. Unplug it first, of course. God, it's always hard to unplug. Just so you guys can believe that I really tempted this. Now, Again, do not attempt this. You're risking basically that you could start a fire, explode this thing into a bolt of fire, molting lava or something. But uh, let's go ahead and pull this off. This is basically barely uh, separated here. Barely separated, so. Um, See, there's the black. You can see it's soldered in there good. And you can see where I added some solder to the blue part. I didn't add to the red because I could feel it connected still. Right here on the blue, though. Let's see if I can get this off. Right here in the blue, you can see I added a lump of solder to connect. It was really hard to get it to connect in there. It just wouldn't wouldn't uh, connect very well. 
and you can see it's it's connected. Um, it just kept coming off. Anyways, uh, it's working now. So that's how I fixed it. I'm going to put it all back together, electrical tape around it, and just hold it on the side as a spare. So don't do anything crazy like this. All right, I guess I'll catch you guys later. I got three lipos now, 11.1s, three thumbs up. Ha, <laughs> ha.